It's all very well you being able to infiltrate a Hitman level and kill your target, but exiting the level is just as important, if not more so. After all, how are you going to tackle your next target if you're still hiding in this wardrobe? Hope they wander past at some point in the next few months. You're living in dreamland. The sneaky bastard is gone! Luckily, Agent 47 is a master at leaving levels, and some of his exfiltration techniques are so weird, wacky, and downright bizarre that witnesses aren't going to be a problem because literally no one is going to believe them. Here are our most ridiculous favorite secret exits in the newer Hitmans. Enjoy! Most exits in Hitman let you leave the level, but there's one exit on Hitman 3's Berlin level, Apex Predator, that lets you leave the entire planet. Your sitting ducks evacuate to the area immediately. To get this exit, once you've eliminated your targets, take 47 out to the front of the club where you'll find this mysterious piece of graffiti of a UFO, a phone, and the number 1993. Taking a photo of it causes 47 to muse that it must mean something. And he's not wrong, because if you head back out through the woods to the gas station at the start of the level, you can punch that number into the payphone and 47 will be honest to goodness abducted by aliens using a glowing green tractor beam. Which is win-win, because Agent 47 gets away scot-free, and the aliens are going to get some really interesting probe data. Hold your horses, though, because the UFO abduction route isn't all when it comes to aliens on the Berlin map. If you'd rather your exit to have a little more Spielbergian whimsy, you can instead try this secret exit, in which things take a decided turn for the ET. First off, you need to collect four eggs which are hidden around the level, you know, like you get at nightclubs. Once you have these, you then need to take them up onto the roof of the biker's hideout where you'll find this graffiti of a chicken holding a frying pan. If you throw an egg at the frying pan, the graffiti will disappear, reappearing elsewhere on the roof, and now including a drawing of an egg in the pan. Repeat the process with the remaining eggs, and the final bit of graffiti will appear by the edge of the roof, revealing that the chicken made an omelette, and that you now have a new exit available to you, where 47 will ride this bike off through the night sky like Elliot from E.T. Which is probably for the best, considering what happened earlier when we tried to phone home. The Flamingo mascot disguise is possibly the greatest disguise in the history of Hitman games, mostly because when Agent 47 is blending in while wearing it, he does this. How much time remaining? Don't worry, folks. Anything can still happen. However, the Flamingo disguise offers another benefit besides awkward dancing in the form of a secret exit that's only available while wearing it. Head up to the roof of the Kronstadt building after killing your targets while wearing the Flamingo disguise, and you'll notice a new exit available on the building's helipad. And if you think you know where this is going, no you don't. That's because rather than hijacking a helicopter and making a break for freedom, Flamingo 47 instead flaps his arms and takes to the skies, soaring like… a flamingo, I guess. How does that look even more awkward than the dancing? Speaking of Miami, another of its secret exits is located near the same building, only this time you want to be out front in the plaza with the fountains. Once the Noxes are dead, if not buried, you need to acquire a fish from somewhere, and then, fish in hand, walk into the fountain which will cause the water jet to move to a different part of the plaza. Follow the water jet around the plaza and eventually you'll end up face to face with a gleaming silver dolphin statue, which, presumably in exchange for the fish, will offer you a new exit. Not one, but two dolphins that you can stand on and ride out of the harbour, presumably to your new life under the ocean as Aquaman. There he goes, the world's most feared professional killer. Hitman's Colorado mission is a very serious and deadly mission set in a militia compound full of very serious and deadly people, which is why it's absolutely imperative that you exit the level in as silly a manner as possible. Thankfully, Hitman is here to help in that regard with this secret exit, which does take some setting up, but is totally worth it, I promise. 
He'd make an excellent assassin. I don't know. First up, you need to acquire 10 apricots, which isn't tricky, as the militia compound is also an apricot farm, so the things are everywhere. Then you'll need the quad bike keys, which are handily in a shed near the main entrance. And finally, and most importantly, you'll need a good quantity of high-grade hallucinogenic drugs. Armed with these treasures, you then head inside the house to the top floor, where there is a toy animal on wheels to which you can feed the apricots. Feed the toy all ten apricots, and it'll vanish, reappearing by the edge of the farm, where it has become a new exit, one which has to be seen to be believed. Run, run, run. Say what you like about this exit's efficacy, you can't deny 47 is into it. Look at this little face. In many ways, Agent 47 is a lot like fictional supernatural nanny Mary Poppins. He blows into your life unexpectedly, completes all his tasks with ruthless efficiency, and is always injecting people with lethal poison. Mary Poppins does it off-screen. Is why you've never seen her do it. Anyway, you can make 47 even more like Ms. Poppins if you take the Columbia Secret Exit, which first requires you to complete the Hero of Santa Fortuna challenge, in which you do a bunch of good deeds for the residents of this Colombian village, like fixing the hippie's van and getting the local band back together. Once you've done all these good deeds, and several bad ones, thank you, you can now head to the river where, if you look closely, you can see a yellow umbrella nestled in the trees in the jungle on the other shore. Shooting the umbrella down knocks it into the river, at which point it will float over to your side and you can pick it up and use it for a Mary Poppins style exit as you float over the rooftops like a magical British nanny. Weird that this isn't the one that requires hallucinogens, to be honest. Banking is a complicated business, no doubt, which is why it's so fun, with 47 disguised as an investment banker, to just randomly dump a bunch of stock and see what happens. What happens is the stock crashes, and once you've done the same to the level's target, director Athena Savalis, thank you, a new exit opens up to you, in which 47, presumably mortified at his stock market losses, throws open a window and steps boldly out into the New York evening, mimicking the apocryphal Wall Street traders during the crash of 1929. Hey, he'll be fine. Dude can be shot like eight times and not break his stride. Finally, we have this exit from Hitman 2's Haven Island in the Maldives, in which you have to embark on a cruel act of mass inflatable crocodile slaughter. There are 18 inflatable crocodiles dotted around the island, and to unlock this secret exit, 47 has to shoot and burst all 18 of them. Once his grim work is done, one final crocodile will appear in the ocean. You'd think it's here to take on 47 in an epic showdown to avenge its fallen brethren, but actually, it seems like the inflatable crocodiles were cool with being popped, because this guy is here to offer you a ride home, and offer 47 is only too happy to accept. Thanks, crocodiles. You're all right. So, those were eight ridiculous Hitman secret exits that really had to be seen to be believed. Did we miss your favourite 47 Xville strat? Let us know in the comments, and remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for lots more Hitman from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching.